All right, chapter 15. Chapter 15 has to do with preparing adjusting entries and a trial balance. If you remember back in, I think, chapter 6, we did this with Delgado Web Services, um, but now we're doing this with a corporation, so it's a bit different. Um, so just a little bit of background. Um, management decisions about future business operations are often based on financial information. They don't make decisions unless they know how things are going. It'd be irresponsible for management to make a decision without knowing the financial standpoint of the company. So um, the information that they gather shows whether a business is making a profit or incurring a loss. Profit or loss information helps a business plan for future changes. Financial information is also needed to prepare required tax reports. And remember, corporations have to file taxes. Um, they need to file it um, because they pay the same FICA taxes that employees take, or sorry, that employees pay. Um, all right, so some general ledger accounts need to be brought up to date before financial statements are prepared. Adjusting entries are used to bring a general ledger account up to date. And going back to Chapter 6, Delgado Web Services, they entered um, adjusting entries for supplies and prepaid insurance. It was a services company, so they didn't have a lot of um, inventory on anything else except really supplies. But Think Green, um, they're a corporation that sells stuff, so they have to enter adjusting entries for supplies and prepaid insurance. <coughs> Excuse me. But since they're a corporation with employees, they also need to adjust merchandise inventory, um, accumulated depreciation, interest receivable, and federal income tax payable. Um, so they have more things that, that they need to adjust before they um, finalize their financial statement. So preparing an unadjusted trial balance. The first step um, the first step in preparing adjusted entries is to prepare a trial balance. Um, a trial balance is prepared before adjusting entries are posted, and it's called an unadjusted trial balance. Um, so they're trying it before they adjust it. Uh, a trial balance provides proof that the debits and credits in the general ledger are equal. Because remember, that's our goal. That's our balance. A uh, trial balance also provides a complete list of accounts that may need to be brought up to date. Think Green uses an unadjusted trial balance and records adjustments directly into the general journal. Okay, here is our trial balance. Um, first of all, we have our list of accounts. Um, we may not use every single one of these accounts, but this is our list of accounts. Our account balances. So if you look at step one, we're going to write the title of each general ledger account in the account title column. Write the accounts in the same order they appear in the general ledger, just to make, um, make it easier to track. All accounts are listed regardless of whether or not there is a balance. Um, Listing all accounts reduces the possibility of overlooking an account that needs to be brought up to date. Then we write the balance of each account in the appropriate debit or credit column. The amounts are taken from the general ledger accounts. <coughs> and then we're going to total, prove, and rule the column totals. So if you see this number equals that number, life is good. All right, um, so the balance of Supplies office in the unadjusted trial balance is $4,548.17. This is the cost of supplies on hand January 1st, plus the supplies purchased through the year. On December 31st, the employees take an actual inventory, and it's called a physical inventory because the employees physically walk around and count every specific item. Um, so they take an actual inventory, which they call a physical inventory, and determine them to be $610. Um, the difference is the value of office supplies used during the year, which is considered an expense. Then we have the balance of supply store. And the unadjusted trial balance is $5,049.61. 
The amount is the cost of so store supplies on hand at the beginning of the year plus the store supplies purchased throughout the year. The account balance needs to be adjusted to reflect the store supplies on hand on December 31st. So the store supplies on hand are counted, they take a physical inventory, and determined to be $465. The difference is the value of the store supplies used during the year, which is also an expense. Okay, when we record adjusting entries for supplies, um, we are going to ask four questions. Actually, when we record any adjusted entries, not just for supplies, we're going to ask four questions every single time because we're analyzing it. So the four questions that we're going to ask um, to analyze the adjustment is, number one, what are the balances of the accounts being adjusted? I mean, if you look, we've got the balances. What should the balances be for these accounts? Okay, that's what it should be. Okay, this is what it is. That's what it should be. What must be done to correct the account balances? Um, in this case, we need to decrease supplies office. Um, if you subtract the $4,548.17, um, subtract $610 from it, you're going to decrease the supplies office by $3,938.17. Okay, we're also going to decrease the supply store. If I look back here, we would take $5,049.61 minus $465. And the difference is $4,584.61. So we're going to decrease the supply store by that amount. Okay, so that was question number three. Okay, and then four. What adjusting entries are made? Um, we've got the debit supplies expense. I didn't get a notepad out. Hold on. You guys are so patient. Okay, um, so that question four. what adjusting entries are made. Um, we're going to debit supplies expense. For office by $3,938.17. And if you remember, that was the um, trial balance minus their physical inventory. We're also going to credit supplies office. <laughs> My spelling's great today. Um, by the same amount. And then we're going to debit <laughs> supplies expense. sorry, for store, and we're going to do that by $4,584.61, which was the trial balance fifty forty nine sixty one minus how much they physically counted. And then credit supplies store the same amount. Okay, so that's question number four, what adjusted entries are made? Um, and that's what we need to do. Okay, let's get that back. Okay. So here's our, in our T charts, our T accounts. Um, adjusting entries for supplies are shown in the T accounts. Um, if you look at the post-it note, this is exactly what we're doing. Um, debiting supplies expense for office by that value, um, crediting supplies office by this value, and then we have our new balance. Um, and then supplies expense store, debit, and then credit the same amount, and that would give us a new balance.
All right, and then we need to write them down, right? So um, many types of transactions are journalized in a general journal. These transactions can affect both the general ledger and the subsidiary accounts. For example, the purchase of supplies on account affects two general ledger accounts and the vendor's account payable, sorry, the vendor's accounts payable account. These transactions should be posted often to ensure management makes decisions using up-to-date information. Um, and that's what we're doing. So we have our debit supplies expense office, our credit supplies office, our debit supplies expense store, and our credit supplies store. All right, now moving on to um, prepaid insurance. So insurance premiums are, de are debited to prepaid insurance when paid. Um, the January 1 balance on the account was $2,600. During the year, Three Green paid $8,400 of insurance premiums. Therefore, the balance on the unadjusted trial balance is $11,000. If you add these two numbers up, you get $11,000. So Three Green determined that the value of prepaid insurance on December 31st is actually $2,800. So they need to adjust the account. Therefore, the amount of insurance used throughout the year is $11,000 minus $2,800, giving me an adjustment needed of $8,200. So the difference is the expense for insurance premiums during the year. It's how much insurance they used during the year. So they need to get that out of the account. Um, prepaid insurance is credited and insurance... Insurance expense is debited at the end of the fiscal period for the value of premiums used. We're going to ask those same four questions, okay? Um, what's the balance of the account being adjusted? Let me get my post-it note out. That's better. Um, what are the balances of the accounts being adjusted? So we have prepaid insurance, $11,000. What should the balance be for this account? prepaid insurance, the balance should be $2,800. What must be done to correct the account balance? We're going to decrease $8,200, which is the $11,000 minus the $2,800. And then four. What adjustment is made? Um, we're going to debit the insurance expense by $8,200 and credit prepaid insurance $8,200. And that will make um, everything balance out. All right. Look at our T accounts. Like I said, um, we're going to debit insurance expense and credit prepaid insurance, giving us a new balance, and the new balance is correct. And then we need to write everything down. So debit insurance expense and credit prepaid insurance. All right, and we're done. So which adjusting entry is unique to a corporation? We talked about the federal income tax expense because a corporation has to pay that. Um, Delgado Services did not because it was a pri proprietary um, company. What four questions are used to analyze the adjustment of an account? What is the balance of the account being adjusted? What should the balance for this account? What must be done to correct the account balance? And what adjustment is made? Which accounts are used for the adjustment to office supplies? We've got supplies off expense office and supplies office. Which accounts for the adjustment to prepaid insurance? We have insurance expense and prepaid insurance. And that is it.